Hey everyone, today Jake will be going over the installation of MadGraph 5. This is a really useful tool that takes a standard model, or beyond which we'll see later, and some part interaction parameters fixed by the design of the beamline to calculate the products of a particle-particle collision. It does this through Monte Carlo simulations, but we'll get into the flesh of that when it becomes important. All right, Jake? Yep, thank you, Josh. So I'm going to be going over, Josh said, the installation of MadGraph 5. So let me just share screen of the here we go okay so the first thing you're going to want to navigate to is the if you're going to google madgraph 5 and then or just go to the uh, launchpad.net madgraph 5 website itself so you can see here is a lot of information about it and the milestones on like the coding of it and where it is in its uh, version history so far so you're going to want to click this one here so the latest version is 3.2 and just click that and it should download so you're going to want to pick, I've picked MG5 folder here, so we'll just do that. Okay, so once that's there, we're going to want to quickly go to the terminal. Okay, so I'm actually already in this MG5 uh, folder in the terminal, but if you're not there, then you can uh, find your way there by using commands such as CD, which will change your directory to the one you want to go to, and LS will list all the files inside a certain uh, directory as well. So that'll be useful for seeing what directories you can CD into. So I'm going to untar, which is effectively unzip, this uh, MG5 uh, folder here. Um, I'm going to do it in the terminal, but if you're on Mac, you can just double click. Uh, it does it instantly, it's, it's a lot easier, but I'll do it here just so we've got, um, just, uh, just for completion. So you're going to want to put in this command, which is tar-xvzf and then you're going to want to put the name of the file it is, so mg5.tar.gz. And what this is doing is effectively just unzipping it, but um, because you're doing it in the terminal, it looks a lot more uh, worse than what it is. But again, if you're on Mac, you can just double click and it'll do it instantly for you. Um, and then once this is done, we should have a directory which we can CD into. So if I now click L, uh, type in ls, which should list all the things in our directory, we can see that we have the original tar folder and this new folder here. This is going to contain the actual MadGraph 5 software which you can use. So I'm going to CD, change directory, into this one. You can also use tab for auto completion of some words, which is very, very useful. Uh, so just for this video, I'm just going to get it working so you can get um, installed and up and running. So let's ls inside this. So we've got quite a lot of things here. It's a bit daunting at first, but we'll go through all of these in the future. Uh, for now, what we need to know is that the actual software is inside this bin folder here. So we're going to want to CD into the bin folder, ls again, and we can see the executable here. So this is actually the MadGraph 5 software. So to start it, you're going to want to do the commands dot and forward slash, which is a Unix way of starting some uh, executable scripts. And then you're going to type in, well, the name of it, mg5 underscore mc, and then enter. And then once it loads up, there you go, we should see, there you go, welcome to MadGraph 5 and some information which will all go through these in future videos, such as multi-particles, defining things, cards, etc., etc. But for now, it's installed and ready to go, straight out of the box. Uh, if you want to uh, leave it, then you just type in exit. And that is all, and you've now installed and started MadGraph 5. So, um, yeah, stay tuned, and thank you for watching, and, um, yeah, uh, keep your eyes up for more videos and tutorials.